Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. So first of all, this is me login to your credentials and once you're done with that, just me come back over here, click on the checkbox and then click on again and continue. Now just me wait and just me activate your cloud shield. It will take a couple of seconds, so just me wait for that. Now click on continue. Now in the description box of this video, I will share one GitHub link. Just me click on that link and then you are able to access this document. Now just me copy this command, come back over here. Wait for a second now. Click on this got it. Now just paste, hit enter. Wait for a second and then click on authorize. Now what you do, you have to just simply open an editor. So just me click over here, wait for a couple of seconds. Then just me click on this open editor and uncheck this checkbox like this way. And then click on this open in new window like this way. Click on this close and then click on this leave. Now just me wait over here. Now just me click on this open folder over here and then click on this open. Wait for a couple of seconds over here. Just me wait, now click over here and then just me choose the SRC and then choose the environment over here and from here choose the environment.production.ts like this way. Now what you do, just remove this content, come back over here, scroll down and then copy this content, copy like this, come back over here and just me paste over here like this way. And once you're done with that, just me come back over here and click on this view and then click on this command pattern over here. Now here just me search for the cloud run. Now here you can see for the fourth option, deploy to cloud run. Just me click over here and wait for a couple of seconds. Do not change your window. Just be on this window for sure. And as you can see, as asking for me to choose a project ID. So just simply choose your project ID like this way and just simply wait over here. And it's done. Now what you do, here you can see the service name. For that what you do, just simply come back to the lab instructions and click on this task. Now just simply scroll down over here and from here you can see this task name. So just simply copy this name carefully, copy like this, come back over here and just simply replace the name over here. Now if you just simply scroll down now, here you can see region. For me the given region is Europe West 4, for you it might be different, so just simply choose that region over here. So just simply click over here and from here just simply check for the Europe over here. Yeah, this is a Euro West 4. Okay, once you're done with that, now just simply scroll down. It must be allow an authentication. Okay, and now just make sure that the build environment must be local. Now just simply scroll down and then click on this deploy. Now this thing is going to take at least 5 to 10 minutes. Meanwhile, what we'll do, we will move forward to the next task. So what you do, just simply scroll up and from the point number 3, you can see this link. Just simply open this link over here in the incognito window like this way. Wait for a couple of seconds over here. Now just simply sign in over here, click on this, now just simply authorize yourself, and now click on this checkbox and then click on this submit. Now just simply choose any option over here. And then click on this finish over here. Like this. Wait for a couple of seconds over here. And now from here just simply choose a free as a type. Now just simply scroll down. It must be provider as a Google Cloud. Now here you can say region. So I will recommend you just simply choose your nearest region. For me it's a Mumbai. So I'm going to choose that. Now here, please pay attention. You have to choose, just first of all, come back to your congratulations. Now just scroll up and from here you can see this cluster name. Make sure that you have to only choose this cluster name. Do not type any other name. So just copy like this, come back over here. Now just replace this name with this and then click on this create. Now just wait for a couple of seconds. Now it's asking for the authorization. So just authorize yourself. Now what you do, just simply click on this app service over here. Uh, now just simply wait over here. Wait for a couple of seconds.
and is done now here you can see this light green option line over here that mean we have selected this part now just scroll down and then click on this next wait for a couple of seconds and it's done now just click on this close guide now what you do just click on this apps over here and then click on this create new app over here now for this application name just simply copy this cluster name come back over here now just simply replace this name with this like this way and make sure that the link database must be workshop bakery and then click on this create app surface wait for a couple of seconds and it's done and make sure that the app id must look like this workshop bakery and some random name okay now what you do first of all just me come back over here and now here just me search for the api and now just me open this api and services in new tab come back over here wait for a second and then click on this credentials over here and then click on this enable just me click on this create credentials and from here just me choose the api key now it is going to take a couple of seconds meanwhile what you do just me come back to the lab instructions and click on this task now just scroll down so we have done with this part now what you do we have to create three values so just me scroll down and from here just me copy this name copy like this come back to the your mongodb over here now here you can see build section and here you can see the last option values so just me click over here and then click on this create new value now just simply replace this name with this for your value one now for the choose type it must be secret because it mentioned on the lab instruction page now for this what you do come back over here and from here just me copy this api key copy like this come back over here and now just me paste over here your api key over here like this way for the value one and then click on this save so we have done with the value one now again just me scroll down and here you can see from the point number four just me copy this value two name come back over here click on this create new value just simply replace the name and for the type it is a value so we are not going to make any of the changes and the add content is must be custom content because it's mentioned on the lab instruction page now copy this thing carefully and make sure that you have to include this double invert kit comma just me copy like this come back over here and just me paste over here like click on this save wait for a second and it's done now click on this next and then click on this got it so we are done with the second value again just let me scroll down and from the point number five copy this name come back over here click on this create new value just simply replace the name over here like this now for the type it is a value so we are not going to make a changes over here but in the add content it's showing as a link to secret so just simply choose that and then click over here and just let me choose gcp api key and then click on the save draft wait for a second and it's done now click on this review draft and deploy like this way wait for a second and then click on this deploy wait for a second and we are done with the value task okay now what you do just click create a two function so basically just scroll down and from here just click copy this name come back over here now here you can see function so just me click over here wait for a second and then click on this create new function now just simply replace this name with this now for the authentication it must be system once you're done with that like this way then click on this save draft wait for a second now just simply replace this content with this copy like this come back over here and just simply paste over here and make sure that for the first function the number of line it must be 19 and once done with that click on this save wait for a second and it's done now click on this review draft and deploy scroll down over here and then click on this deploy and it's done now again click on this function like this way and then click on this create new function now for the second function name scroll down a little bit and from here just look up with second new function come back over here replace the name like this now for the authentication it must be system and then click on this save draft like this way wait for a second and it's done now remove this contain come back over here scroll down copy this come back over here and paste over here and as you know for the first function the number of lines are 19 and for the second functions these are the 30 okay now just me click on this save it's done now click on this review draft and deploy scroll down a little bit and click on this deploy and it's done so we are done with the both the functions over here now what you do we have to just simply create a trigger so for that what you do first of all just copy this name come back over here now here you can see trigger just simply click over here then click on this added trigger 
now it makes sure that the trigger type must be database now just simply replace this name with this which just copy from the lab instruction page now for the cluster name just me scroll down now here you can see cluster name click over here and from here just me choose this cluster workshop breakery and then click over here and for the database click on this create new and for this name just me copy this database name copy like this bakery come back over here and paste over here and then click on this create wait for a second now for the collection name just me click over here and then click on this create new for the collection name copy this name come back over here and just me paste over here and then click on this create now for the operation type it must be insert because it's mentioned on the lab instruction page now again just me scroll down now here you can see full document just me turn on this toggle scroll down now here you can see event type it must be function now here you can see this function just me click over here and from here just me choose get comment and analyze sentiment just me click over here scroll down and then click on this save wait for a second and it's done now just me click on this review draft and deploy now scroll down over here and click on this and deployment has been done now if you just simply scroll down and click on this take my progress you will not get a score because we have to do one more task over here so basically what you do just simply come back over here scroll up now here you can see data and services just simply click over here and then click on this database services and now just me click on this database workshop bakery just me click over here now just me click on this collections over here now if you just hover on this bakery like this you can see this plus icon just simply click on this plus icon like this way now for the collection name what you do just simply come back over here now in the github repo just me scroll down now here you can see task 2 just simply copy this name come back over here and just simply paste over here and then click on this create And it's done now just me click on this bakery name this one okay now click on this insert document like this way click on this function action and then just simply remove this content like this way come back over here scroll down and then copy this command come back over here and paste like this and then click on this insert and data is added over here as you can see it's done now again click on this insert document again click on this function brackets now remove this like this way now for the second scroll down then copy this thing carefully copy like this come back over here and just will paste over here and then click on this insert wait for a second and it's done now i request you please pay attention over here now here you can see this second document chocolate cakes now what you do just simply copy this object id just simply copy this thing carefully and paste on your notepad over here because we need a later step let me just zoom in for you this is the id of chocolate cakes documents as you can see it's done now what you do just simply click on this comments over here like this now you can see bakery comments that means we are in the bakery comments now click on this insert document again click on this function bracket now here just me remove this and replace with this thing so just me copy like this come back over here and just paste over here now what you do just me copy this id copy like this come back over here now just me replace this thing with this make sure there is no extra space over here and it must be in the inverted comma as well now click on this insert and it's added over here now if we just simply come back to the lab instructions and click on this check my progress you will get a score without any issue and if the score is not updated no need to worry just simply wait for a couple of seconds you will get a score for sure now if we just simply check the score for the first task if we just scroll down and click on this check my progress you will get a score without any issue because our deployment has already done let me just show you as you can see deployment has completely okay and that's the way we have to complete this lab if you still have any doubts please do let me in the comment section thanks for watching and have a good day guys